Hello everybody and welcome to Ian Robinson's Cabinetry and Joinery. What I'm going to do today is do a beautiful lamp and this lamp is going to be out of exquisite walnut and the walnut is cluster pippy walnut and as you can see here I'll show you here that is the cluster pippy walnut chunk I have that I've just cut up from a bigger slab and now these slabs are quite rare I doubt I'd get this again so the thing is we're going to use this because it's going to look absolutely gorgeous so the first thing that I'm going to have to do is basically plane that uh, surface up plane the other surface up and then get this edge here straight so it's all nice and square for starters let's get cracking on with the planing side of it and uh, start the planer up Okay, so that was that. So now we've got some nice character going on. And I don't mind this, that all, all that'll be part of the resin. Basically, we are going to uh, plane that up and get that square. Okay, so that's the next next step on the plane of thickness. Sir. all planed up nicely okay all nice and square that has ended up being um, at a size of 80 mil so that's 80 by 80 mil okay so that's a nice chunk it's a lovely chunk for a lamp okay so now that that is chopped to that size and then what we're going to do is drill all the way around that to where we want it oh and by the way it is eight o'clock on a Thursday and I am, thank you very much, NHS. You hear the fireworks? I don't know if you can hear the fireworks, but yeah, lovely old job. Well done, NHS. 
Thank you very much. We are in hard times at the moment. Eight o'clock at night. I'm in my workshop doing this. <laughs> that is now ready to be chopped about into, into um, it's going to be drilled. Okay, so I'm going to drill it. Now I want a, quite a big drill for this. Not huge, but quite a decent size. And I'm going to go through that area where it's all gnarly, which is quite nice. So that, that'll do that. So I've got to pick a drill bit now that will kind of work for me. And I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably pick a couple of different drill bits to do this. And uh, what you do, you pick your point, which for me is here. And... What I suggest is you mark with a pencil not that it really matters, but I'm going to just do one line on one side of it and that'll give you an indication of where you've been drilling and what side is what when it all comes apart. Piece like that. And now we got them. You got them two pieces there. Let's do a close up, shall we? So they're the two pieces, okay? And they actually go together like like that. Okay, so in between there, it's gonna be about that tall. And in between there, you're gonna have a load of resin. It's actually 79 mil by 79 mil. So 79 mil by 79 mil and 500 mil long. We're gonna drill a hole all the way through this piece here and it'll be just the right um, hole size for a, um, a bulb, an LED bulb to go right through and just poke out the bottom here and just a small enough hole for it to emit the light. Now we've worked on our block that we're using, we can now work on our former. And now we know the size of our former, we can get on with that. At this precise time, accuracy is absolute paramount. Now that, this piece of MDF here is dead, dead flush to these pieces here. Now I've marked these so I know that that is how they're gonna be. So that is our base of our former. And our former will have a box sides to it like so. And that's how they work. Okay, and that doesn't matter whether they're slightly higher on the sides, that's not a problem. Um, and actually, that's not a bad thing at all really, to be honest, because that way you can flood the top of that and get a really nice finish to it as well. Let's get the tape, and this tape here is basically, that is parcel tape. That'll go onto here, and then when you take all the former apart, when, when all the resin's gone off, it'll easily come apart. Okay, so now we put the tape on, as you can see. You glue and pin all these together, nice and accurately, with a very small pin gun. So that goes that way. So there's an arrow on these and that tells you which way you, we, you should be pointing them. So there you go, right, so that's them. And then we could need PVA glue. We'll start off with one side and we plenty of glue on there. Put it in the clamp and get stapling basically. Now obviously your uh, parcel tape side goes on the inside, so be very aware of that.
So that's it. We're going to put that the way we've made the former or the reservoir, if you like. I'm going to put that one in there and there you go. That's what it's going to look like. There you go. All right. So that's what it's going to look like. Really nice. Really nice. That's going to look great. Okay. Just like that. And what I'll do, put those pieces of MDF on, on there in the middle and it acts as a bit of pressure down. And that's what we do. You don't want too much pressure. It's just enough just to stop that from um, floating because wood will float. Uh, just had me coffee, lovely old job. Thank you very much. So now that is sorted out like that. So if I'm gonna put 300 millimeters in, uh, 300 millimeters in there, I will need 150 millimeters of hardener. Pretty cool um, thing here, it's, it's, it's a mixer. Now I've got this from America actually and it mixes it without creating bubbles and that's, that's the kind of thing you want to do you can't create bubbles you need the heat gun but you've got to make sure that everything is dust free when you're doing this because the dust on clear resin is not a great idea Right. everybody we are back and here we have the lamp the resin lamp as you can see you can see I hope you can see that it's quite quite clear all the way through so if you look at that I'll see if I can put my hand there you go although it looks very blue it looks really nice but you've got to be very careful with the color and how much you put in um, with these lamps. So anyway, that's just come out of the out of the former. I've obviously destroyed the former because um, because that's what happens. You can't keep these formers, unfortunately, unless you do them in a silicon, and then you can. And that would probably be be my next next thing to do. Actually, is a is a silicon uh, a silicon former. I have the silicon, so it's worth doing. Anyway. I feel that this top now needs to be cut to there. This is the base and this is the top. And I just feel that that needs cutting a little bit now. And, um, and I think I'm gonna put a bit of a point to it as well. And I'm just gonna see how that is. Uh, but I won't cut too much off as yet. I shall just cut it and see how, how it looks first. So over to the uh, cutting station. Um, so what I've done here, I've devised a little area and a little jig with a quick, quick grip, quick grip Greg clamp. Um, that was a bit of a mouthful first thing in the morning. And what I'm going to do is to decide on where I want to cut it. So I think about there, but I want a bit of a point to this one. I want something a different on this particular. For a change, probably go around about there actually. I would have thought so. Put this stop on, all a bit dusty in here. So, put the stop on, clamp that stop to it. Now, that's not going to move at all. Okay, so that's that. A bit like sharp pencil. Well, I'll just round that off a touch, but I want to keep it all nice and clean and crisp 
So, what we're gonna do now is go over and um, start sanding this piece and start sanding it up because we've still got bits that are stuck to it and what have you. So I'm gonna get a coarse grit and sand that all up. To, uh, well, down to 150 grit so far. Okay, so now we've got to 150 grit. We are now going to just keep going down the grade, grades, or keep going up the grades, all the way up to uh, 1200, uh, P1200. So we're going to do, so we've done, uh, last one we've done was 150, and then we're going to go to 240, 400, 800, and then 1200. And that is it. So you give that a wash, get all that residue off, which is uh, not really nice. Get a good clean. And what I just do is just dry it off, but look at that. There you go. That's what 1200 grit gets you. And you can see in the bottom there as well, Ed, that looks absolutely beautiful, like glass. You should be able to see my hand through there still, quite happily. Yeah, you've got a lovely, beautiful blue, looks like the sea, with the walnut. And it just looks really nice. Once that's dried off, I'm gonna put a hole right in the bottom there. Put the hole in the bottom there, and that'd be lovely. Put the hole in the bottom, get the, uh, like I say, get the bulb, and do a bit of electri electrical work and uh, I've got an on-off switch and a bit of plugs and just, uh, yeah, go from there. Right, so there we go. There it is. And on the bottom, finish with cork, just to finish it off. And that might need a little bit of touching up around here, which it will. Um, so all the electrics are in, it works. So let's turn it on and find out, shall we? Hey! I didn't turn it off, did I? So that is a nice lamp, and bearing in mind it's daylight today, so it was very, it was very bright today. So that tonight, when that's in my house, and it's nice and dark, that's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, nearly done, nearly done. All that's left to do now is the waxing, and finish this lovely, lovely walnut, walnut off. Well, here we are back in the office. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and. This is the end of the video now. We're just gonna show you the, uh, the finished item, which is a beautiful, beautiful resin lamp. And here it is. And does it work? So just let me get back a bit, because it's quite large. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty big. So we've got a little pointy top to it, which is all smoothed out, and we've waxed it, finished it off nicely. It looks really nice. You can see my hand through it. Yeah, you can see my hand through it, can't you? There you go, look at that. Right, and now, does it work? Let's, I'll tell you what, let's just um, turn off some lights, okay? Make it a little bit dark in here. Well, that's one. God, that makes a huge difference in itself. So let's turn off uh, the main lights. Back in a sec. There you go, lovely old job. Now then, does it work? We've sealed it at the bottom with some nice cork just to finish it off, tidy it up, make it look really nice. And here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Lovely old job. So that is how you make a beautiful resin lamp and uh, looking good. That's a beautiful walnut as well. The, the walnut is gorgeous looking. So that is it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for my next project, 
which I'm sure I will be doing very soon. Um, not 100% sure on what I'm going to do next. Maybe doing another another resin lamp. I don't know. Um, could be chopping boards. Don't mm know. -hmm. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? So anyway, guys, I'm off. Thank you very much for watching Ian Robinson's Cabinetry and Joinery. And uh, yeah, like I say, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, it helps the channel. Uh, it's a new channel. My uh, my other channel is photography based, and that is uh, IR Photo Tours. So that's Ian Robinson at IR Photo Tours. That is my other um, main YouTube page uh, or channel, should I say? And that covers photography mainly, and that is it really. That's all I cover on that. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and it's been a lovely old job.